I'm back. I've done my eyes. I've covered my boo-boos with my cover cream. So what's next? My favorite foundation because I have oily skin. I use the lasting foundation that is oil free. It dries to a matte finish and it's buildable. You can build on a full coverage or light to medium coverage with this. And I can go swimming and it doesn't come off. So I'm gonna start with our natural foundation in the lasting. Look, that's all I need to do my whole face. This is my beauty blender. You can use it wet or dry. Um, when it's wet, it does create a more smooth finish. When it's dry, it's kind of going to go in there and fill in fine lines for you. So I'm going to place it in the areas where I want to start blending. You don't have much time with the lasting because it dries so fast. Now, the beauty blenders, I'm not going to stand there and wash them every time I use them. So throw them in with your load of laundry. No worries. It doesn't mess up your clothes. It comes right out. comes out clean. And I'm going to pat like I'm on a race, ladies. Racing for beauty. Yes. Cover the yucky skin. My old age skin color I love. I even put it on my lips. I don't know why. Because I use our Lip Revive. But I just like that extra security corner of the nose and then I go up here on the eye and do the hairline tweak your work and then I even cover my ears cuz if I'm out in the sun guess what we always forget our ears and then we end up with burned ears that's not fun I've done that before and then on the neck you're gonna blend in strokes you don't need to pat the neck you just need to blend it Okay, where you want to pat is on the face. <clears throat> Turn that beauty blender around. Get under the eye blended. Foundation is hard for a lot of ladies because you're using your fingers and it's never going to be even. If you use a beauty blender or a brush, you can apply it a lot better. Okay, in the corners of the nose there, that drives me crazy. Got to get them good. Pat, 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 pat. You can see it's already starting to dry. And I check behind myself. Sometimes I miss this little cave where my blush goes. Okay, Whew. I have smoothed it out much better. I'm not as scary now. One little spot there. And just check behind yourself before you move to the next step. So that's how to apply your foundation, ladies. Thank you. God bless.